don't you know that the music should be soft? <laughs> so uh, he gets with this hitman. You know, obviously, all is bad. Here's one of my favorite scenes because we don't really ever get to see this. The family driving and singing. This old man, that that that, keep and, and, that knock knock, patty whack, and they get the dog dog, give a dog a bone. Great. We never ever went there. Never. So cool. Forgot that we had in this show. Yeah, we did. We don't do that. And there's a couple of moments in this. God, fucking, just the way it's shot, the way it's written, that we see this outlaw Jax. We're gonna see it more in a minute. Of seeing a different life. Like the Mayberry life, I call it. Like he's like, I wonder if people actually bought into that. Meaning Jax is now saying, I'm with you. I'm taking you up. I'm coming with you. I'm closing down shop. Trust me, this is happening. And then the audience, like us, gets to see him in the car with, you know, the doc beside him, kids in the back. Maybe this is the way it's going to go. Yeah. Maybe. It's actually going to go that way. Maybe he's going to be on another and maybe in like, and, and I'm thinking like, what's some other storylines they would run here? It's like, oh, maybe they're living in Oregon. They're living somewhere else. And then like a hitman comes to that thing and Jax yeah, has to man. come back out. But maybe yeah. we'll do like a good seven or eight episodes of Jax yeah. living a normal life. Big like arc. He works, works normal, in a yeah, normality. hardware store or, yeah, he's, you know, yeah. <laughs> would have been great. No, it's no. not going to happen. It's not going to last that long. Keep going. Um, You're doing well. So uh, Clay pulls, uh, pulls back up, right? He says uh, it's a great shot of him kind of walking away where he pulls all the backup and all that, right? And that goes right into him calling Romeo where he orders Tig right away to track down Jax. Now, again, this is one of those episodes where it's really focused on just a few people. But yeah. we, were, we were always around, right? So he orders Tig right away. Yeah. Go track down Jax. Yeah. Does that basically consist of you just calling him, tracking him down? That's it. Track him down on the phone. Right. Where do you want me to go, Peter? Stand over here. Is that good with your camera? Yeah, that's good, Kim. Call him right there. <laughs> Booney. Then he goes with Juice. Booney's going with Tom. You, is this okay? We go walk this way? Sure. That's great for the camera. And we did a lot in that little scene because Chibs is concerned about Juice. Yep. But then really quickly, Clay gets caught where he's like, he doesn't want, because Pi- uh, Opie's like, I'm going to go up to the cabin and oh grab Piney. God. He's like, no, no, uh, no, no, no. And Opie is, I, and again, I, I said, I said, I said, Clay says it quicker than a heart attack. No, 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 no don't go there. Right. But we, then, we need, yeah, go ahead. Then we finish on Opie's face being skeptical. And I feel like that's a cheap shot because he didn't know anything. Right. It was overkill. Thank you. It was total for the audience overkill. They know what's happened. Opie certainly doesn't, but Clay was a bit too quick, jumpy. No, no, don't, don't bother about that. And but you know, why, but why, why do that with Opie? Is that to kind of trick the audience for a minute to go? Maybe he knows. Uh, I don't think it's maybe he knows. I think it's why do why can't I go see the old man? Like, what do you, what do you mean? You're going to, you're going to have me do something else. Right. He played that's it. Kind like, of weird. He played it like he was skeptical of clay. Well, that's what I mean. It was a weird thing from clay to, to say no to that's all. Mm. Yeah. Really, and I know, and I know Opie's like big team clay at this point. He's all in with clay. Yeah. So 